The reason for this popping before the video begins is because I fucked up in last week's Battle of the Top Dogs. I said in the right corner we have our reigning champion B. Smith versus Joan Ferguson and it wasn't supposed to be B versus Joan. It was supposed to be Kaz versus Joan. It was Jax. It wasn't versus anyone because there was no one yet. So then it was Jax versus Frankie. Frankie versus B. B versus Kaz. Kaz versus Joan. But I smoke a lot of weed. And so I dumbed out and I put B versus Joan. I just gotta pay more attention. So that was my mistake. But I just wanted to let you guys know. That way when you see in this video Kaz and Joan because it was a tie between these two fuckers. So it's gonna be Kaz and Joan versus Mari. Welcome, welcome back, back to back, what back, works, back, works back, battle of battle, the top, 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 top. In the left, In the left corner, corner, we have Kaz and Joan. 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 In the right, In the right corner, right, we right, have right, their right, opponent, right, opponent, Mari, Mari Winter. 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 Battle of battle, the top, battle, dog, battle, dog, 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 start, start, start now. Start. I'm coming to you live from my bedroom and I am here to do round six of Battle of the Wentworth Top Dogs. So in today's episode, we're going to be discussing Mari Winter. So as usual, I'm going to give you a little bit of background before we get into the judging. Mari is in prison for assaulting her son's doctor with her purse, okay, after he tells her that her son is brain dead and the best thing for him would be to take him off of life support. And out in the free world, she was a madam who owned brothels and shit and she had like mad power. She was a powerful bitch out in the free world. Inside the halls of Wentworth, she ends up becoming top dog. She was only top dog from season 7, episode 4 or 5, until the final episode of season 7. So she was only top dog for a short time. So now, we're going to get right into the judging. Category number one is her rules as top dog. So as usual, I am not certain. I can't recall any set rules, but I'm assuming that they were pretty much the same as all the others. Do as I say and everything will be all right. Oh, and whatever you do, don't fuck with Ali. So that was probably like her, her one rule. Leave Ali the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with Ali and everything is going to be okay. So for this, you know, I'm going to give her the same as I give all the other top dogs that don't have any real set rules of their own. A seven. How much did the women fear slash respect her? I don't think any of the women feared Mari because Mari wasn't fucking scary. There was nothing scary about this bitch. So I don't think they feared her, but I do believe that they respected her, but only because of who she was on the outside. So just because they didn't fear her, that's fine. But they did respect her. And to me, that counts for something. So she's going to get six points for that. How did she get the position of top dog? In my opinion, she got the position of top dog in the most corny ass, whack ass way possible. Kaz has been killed, okay? Slain in the halls of Wentworth, viciously by Sean Brody. So what happens now? All the women are riled up and Costa, Costa, how do you say her name? This bitch right here, she was the top contender to become top dog when all of a sudden Ali jumps up and she speaks on behalf of Mari. So she basically gives this big ass speech and tells the women, you know, Kaz cared about the women. Kaz was A, B, and C, and so is Mari, and they're exactly the same, and she's the one that you want for top dog, not Costa. So the women end up giving Mari their dessert bowls after Ali's speech. So it was fucking whack. So Ali basically spoke for her and convinced the women to vote for her instead of Costa, who was the other contender for top dog. You know what I'm saying? So they basically chose the lesser of two evils and gave Mari the job. The women also picked Mari as their top dog because Mari stood up to Costa in the dining hall. 
when she grabbed her by the hair and almost snapped her neck back and said whatever the fuck it was that she said to her. So the women thought that she cared about them because she stood up to Colstar, but that was not the case. I'm gonna give Mari six points for this. How did they lose the position of top dog? Let me tell you something, she's getting one point and I'm gonna tell you why. Mari was responsible for the siege in season seven, which resulted in several deaths, okay? Costa, May, which is Boomer's mom, and poor Lizzie, who I believe died as a direct result of all the stress she went through during the siege. You know what I'm saying? All that shit caused her to have the stroke. The stroke left her with locked-in syndrome, okay? Which meant that she was going to be bedridden for the rest of her life. And because of this, Boomer chose you know, to end her life the way Lizzie had requested. Now, had the siege not happened, I don't think that shit would have happened. So yeah, Mari was responsible for Liz's death, okay? Liz's death is on Mari. After Ali got a hold of a pistol and shot Mari in the thigh and Brody in the head, it was safe to say that Mari's days as top dog were over. She lost the job in an embarrassing and disgraceful manner, okay? She gets one point. How badass was her crew? Listen to me, she had Drago in her crew. She had two of the most badass bitches in Wentworth. She had Rita Connors and she had Drago. These bitches are no joke. She's getting 10 points. If I could give her 20 points, 10 points for each of them, because that's how badass they are. But I can't do that, so she's gonna get 10 points. Badass crew she had, even though she was a shit herself. How was their relationship with the staff? From what I saw with my eyes on Wentworth, she had an okay relationship with the staff up until the siege. She successfully seduced Mr. Jackson, okay? Vera didn't really have a beef with Mari until she found out about her and Will. So overall, the relationships with the staff, it was neutral. She didn't give them much issues except for the siege, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give her an eight. And she would have got a 10 had she not fucked with Will's heart, okay? I didn't like that. Will is a great guy. Eso no se hace. How brutal slash violent were they? So Mari was an instigator, not a fighter. She was a manipulator, not a fucking fighter. She let others handle her dirty work. She didn't have the muscle to do it herself. And she's getting seven points only because she's got heart. You know what I'm saying? She can't fight, but she has heart. And heart counts for a lot in my book. So I'm gonna give her seven points. How likable were they? So fucking Mari Winter, all right? It was a 50-50. You either love the bitch or you hated the bitch. I didn't like the bitch. And after the part she played in Reb's death, I hated her. But while she was top dog for me, she was just a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? I didn't trust her and I don't think the women really trusted her either. I did feel bad for her because I knew she was grieving the loss of her son, but that's no excuse for what she did. You know what I'm saying? Like she used this teddy bear to sneak her drugs into the prison. That was some desperate ass, low ass shit that she did. It was fucking despicable, okay? I'm gonna give the bitch five points. How much did she care about the women? Ay, bendito. So she started off not giving two fucks about the women, but by the end of her time on Wentworth, we see her save Ruby's life. Twice. We also see her save Joan's life when Joan was about to kill herself. So she did care, but she wasn't top dog when she saved these women's lives, okay? She just wasn't. So while she was top dog, what the fuck did she do to show that she cared about these women? Nothing. She cared about Allie and that was it. And so for that, she gets five points and she's lucky because I feel like that's too high. So the final category is on a scale of one to 10, what was Mari's overall rating as top dog? Oh shit. So Mari was absolutely terrible at the job. Okay, she was worse than Joan. She did nothing for the women. It was just for her own ego that she took the job. And her only goal was escaping the prison and being top dog would help her cause. You know what I'm saying? She fucking sucked. She gets zero points. So now it's time to calculate Mari's total score. Mari's total score is 55 points. She gets 55 points out of a possible 100, which means Mari is in fourth place. 
So a quick rundown of where we stand. In fifth place, we have Jax. Mari coming in at number four. In third place, we have both Kaz and Joan. Frankie Doyle taking the second place spot. And holding tight in first place is B. Smith. Make sure you tune in for next week's Teal Tuesday when we will be discussing the next top dog in line, Ali Novak. If you like this video, you already know what to do. Like my shit, subscribe to my channel if you've not already, and turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted when I post videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.